Chris Barron. I'm a volunteer here at Port Nisqually Living History Museum and today I'm going to talk about putting a roof on a post and sill construction building. And we're inside the granary, finished in 1850, one of the original buildings from the port. And uh, let me show you how it's constructed. We have vertical posts that uh, support a top plate that runs uh, horizontal with rafters that are let into it and there's a notch here I'll show you in a minute. And the rafters tend to push out on the wall so to keep the walls from spreading. Back in the day, they put in a collar tie with a, uh, a dovetail joint on top of, or let into the, the top plate. So what we have are some pieces that are left over from the uh, uh, smokehouse that we built not long ago. And uh, um, this would represent the top plate, and in that top plate, we put in a uh, um, notch that corresponds to um, the uh, rafter tail here. It, it lets in, and uh, the, that notch prevents the rafter tail from sliding off the top of the top plate. At the top of the rafter, there's a lap joint where the two rafters come together. And uh, the same notch, but turned around opposite directions. They fit together and make a strong joint at the top with a hole drilled in and a, uh, a wooden dowel tapped into it. After the rafters are set in place, um, there's spaced sheathing that's nailed into the top of the rafters. And that's be the original ones here you can see. Uh, they're sawmilled, or they're milled material. There were sawmills on the Puget Sound at that time. And then the shakes are nailed to the top of that. And how to make a shake? Um, well, I will show you in another story here. If you find this interesting, follow us on social media.